What up all you amazing filmmakers, Matt Alonzo here. Quick tutorial for you guys. I posted this yesterday on my Instagram story for all my Instagram followers. If you're not following me, go ahead and hop over there at Matt Alonzo and press that follow button. And it seemed to get tons and tons of comments and I figured I might as well post something quick here for you guys to check out and for those who possibly missed it. Essentially the question was, how do I make my footage that was shot in 120 frames or 60 frames look more cinematic or native in a 24 frames per second sequence? Now this is a very simple tutorial. But before we get to the video, make sure to go to metalonzo.com, check out the Treatment Master Kit. Right now things are so competitive. Everyone's looking for an edge. This pack I put together to ensure that your treatment sticks out amongst the rest. Over 10 years of knowledge, I've compiled all that information with uh, references, actual templates, and examples for some videos that were extremely successful. The pack is filled with content that will help you guys to make sure that your treatments stand out. So go check that out, madalonzo.com. Without further ado, first step, open Premiere Pro. I'm going to import some of my footage that I shot on a A7S II, bought it used, and um, it works wonderfully. I love it. So I imported my footage. A little bit of information about this footage, 85 and 86, these two, they were shot on A7S II. Shout out to Ozer Media. I am not sure of the camera that he had. I do believe it's another Sony, and I believe it was more for photos. But as you see here, his frame rate on his was 2997. And if you notice, his footage in the camera already slowed it down to 120 frames. The footage itself looks a little bit too clear when edited like this. Um, what I'll do here is I can make a new sequence. And um, what I like to do for footage like this, I have some of my custom settings um, just for Instagram and stories. But what I like to do for this is normally use a, a digital SLR uh, sequence and make sure my settings are 23976 and keep everything the same, 23.9976. Okay, perfect. So now that we have that, and I'll just call this test. Just for now, my stuff is usually way organized, but this will just uh, go ahead and show you there. So I'll go ahead and drop the song in. Normally I like to uh, make this a little bit bigger, get up in here, see this a little bit, and I'll go ahead and delete any tracks that are not being used for this. Drop this down so that I can see it. If I need to, I can make this a little bit bigger. Go to the first word of the first verse, get my marker in. What I'll normally do is come in here and then I'll go add chapter marker. And if you go here, you kind of just stretch the duration out, whatever it is you wish. And then you can go first verse or whatever the actual part is of the song. And then you so then I would stretch this out. So then I have the first verse and I can kind of see that. So now to the 2397 footage, come in here, boom, come in here, drop that in. Sometimes it's not always on. Okay, so there's my baseline, all right? That's my 2397 one. That one's already set, okay? So now I go to my next clip. Uh, you can double click this if you play it. It plays like that. So the way that I do is I'll double click here. I'll uh, right click on my mouse and I'll go to modify, interpret footage. Then we're gonna come to assume this frame rate and we're gonna change it from one frame per second to 23,976 to match. Cinematic footage is shot in 24 frames. It essentially skips a frame making it look a little bit more uh, giving it a little bit more motion blur, obviously, depending on your um, shutter speed, but uh, overall, that is the general idea of this footage, 24 frames per second. Just in general, it's going to be much more cinematic. So if you're shooting in 2997, go to your settings on your camera, switch it over to 23976, uh, 24 frames per second, um, and leave it at that. So now that it goes back to its native Speed, this is kind of what it's supposed to be shown as. Super slow. So now you're probably wondering, what do I do with this now? How do I how do I make this work into my footage? If I just drop it into my folder, it's gonna be no good technically, okay? So now what we wanna do is change the clip speed. And you gotta remember, it's gonna play five times slower when shot in 120 frames. When shot in 48 frames, it's two times slower you know, 24 plus 24. When shot in 60, it's gonna be two and a half. So if you shoot something in 60 frames per second, 
uh, you interpret the footage to 23,976, then you, what you want to do is change your speed to 250 as opposed to 500. So this particular one, we're going to change to 500. Okay. All right. So now that we've sped this up, so now we're back to this. Bam. Now I know it starts right here. Okay. So now I can come in here. I can add that guy here. So another little cool trick here is to enable and disable your actual footage in your timeline. Uh, just kind of moves your edit along a little bit faster. My shortcut that I created on my own keyboard, uh, shortcuts is D. But if you want to know what it is on your particular device or uh, software, Go to clip and you'll see enable and you'll see the shortcut there. Um, now we're shooting 120 frames really comes into play is for time ramps. I'm gonna show you the quick and simple way to do it. That's the way that I learned back in the red one days when there wasn't really any other way to do it. It was just hard cuts. So I'm looking for a place to ramp, quick ramp. All right, I like when he puts his hands up like a champion. So what I'll do is I'll come in a little bit beforehand, right, right there. I'll cut that shot, I'll cut the back off. So normally what I'll do is I'll move this up to be its own layer. So now that we have that clip, what I'll do is I'll come in here, we'll go to clip, we'll go to speed, duration. So I'll set this to 100, bam. So now that we have, now we have this. Okay, you know. Maybe just to give it a little bit more life, I'll show you this really quick. Put your cursor to where it is that you want to uh, initiate your time ramp. Um, maybe put a marker for yourself. Then come over here to your motion and click scale, click position, give yourself some keyframes. Um, and then you do the same for this. You want to leave those ones true. Then you want to come to your new guys over here. I don't know. We'll just say 140. I don't know. We're just going to kind of play around really quick just to show you quick little boom and then we'll go ahead and cut that again and change the speed on my shortcuts and you'll see you know then I'll probably cut out a little bit faster so then that's how you use that now for those who shoot with your settings in your camera set to 120 frames per second and it already converts it for you and then pumps out a 2997 clip for you. This is a little bit trickier, uh, but it works essentially the same way. What you want to do is once again, right click, modify, interpret footage, assume this frame rate 23976. So since this was shot in 500 frames per second, plus the 25% uh, from the 2997, we'll try it at 525. I believe it's this part here. It's a little off. It's off a little bit, so maybe it's 515. Let's try 515. And then we'll try. Okay, so that looks like it works. 515. Try the same thing here. Cut. So now we have this all back to 23976 on our timeline and we can work the time ramps galore. So hopefully that helped you guys out. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, drop them down below. I'm gonna try to do these once in a while and uh, give you guys some insight really quick. So there you have it, quick tutorial. Gave you guys a little bit more than you bargained for. Any questions that you may have regarding editing or things that I can do tutorials on, please feel free to drop me a line, uh, direct message. Email seems to work the best. Email me, matt at mattalonzo.com. Ooh, just got one now. Appreciate you guys. Make sure to follow, smash the like button, smash the comment button. Well, you can't smash the comment button.
<laughs> well, just uh, yeah, stay tuned and uh, appreciate you guys watching. <laughs>